When you are fluent in reading a language, you don't scroll your eyes smoothly across the page. You also don't read letter by letter or word by word. Instead, you read in chunks by fixating your eyes at small intervals and reading a group of words. As you get better with understanding the syntax and grammar of a language, you can anticipate the upcoming word before you even see it. The same can be done when you are reading music. In the first stages of learning music and learning how to sight read, there might be many fixations. You might start reading note by note before you can chunk into bigger pieces of information like chords, scales, patterns, and then into larger groups like harmonic progressions and phrases. The number of visual fixations will decrease as you get better at recognizing, comprehending, and playing different types of musical components like patterns or chords. As you study music more and more, you'll begin to comprehend it like you would grammar within a language. When you see a musical pattern or a harmony or a chord, you're going to expect a certain musical component to follow afterwards. So when you are sight reading, you want to decrease the number of visual fixations while taking in more information. But how do you do this? Well, one way is by expanding your awareness. Have you ever been so engrossed with a movie or a conversation or a video like this one that you cease to notice your surroundings like your coffee mug or your lamp or that person you're about to walk into? You can still have your attention on this video and on your screen, but still notice the things around you in your surroundings. When you read music, you can use this expanded awareness to still be able to read your score and see your hands on the piano. Now, it might not be perfectly in focus, but it's there enough so that you actually don't have to look down at your hands while you're playing. When you first start sight reading, your eye movements may look something like this. Now try to gently look at this point and broaden your field of vision to become aware of the notes and patterns around it without moving your eyes from it. You might even be able to interpret an entire measure. Now training your eyes and brain to read like this is going to take some time, but I definitely think it is a worthy investment. You might want to practice sight reading or just reading your music simply by being aware of your surroundings so you get used to playing and operating with this kind of mindset and noticing when your awareness changes. For example, when we're about to make a mistake or we come up to a more difficult passage, our number of visual fixations increase for accuracy and our expanded awareness turns into this kind of tunnel vision. And when we're sight reading, we want a wide field of awareness so that we can see what's coming up next in our score. I hope this video helps, and I would love to know how you improved your sight reading and what are some of the tips that you have to make sight reading a lot easier. Leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to know. Let's share our knowledge and make music and learning that much more fun. Good luck and happy practicing!